What's good YouTube? I'm God Nat and today we are back with another video. Now listen, I'm trying to get to a regular uploading schedule. I know I uploaded a vlog a few days ago and now we're back with another video. I'm gonna go to a weekly schedule. So at the end of this video, I'll let you know what day next week we're gonna be uploading another video. And I wanna keep up with that schedule leading the whole way up to December. Then in December, I'm planning on doing Vlogmas again, but different to how we done Vlogmas last year. Last year, Vlogmas got the better of me. I tried to do Vlogmas live. I started filming December 1st, day one, and I tried to film every single day, and I just don't think it's possible. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So this year, what I'm gonna start doing is midway through November, I'm gonna start filming Vlogmas. I've got at least 15 videos planned, some crazy big videos. I wanna do a bunch of giveaways. Obviously the PS5 will be out. I wanna take subscribers shopping. I wanna do so many crazy things for Vlogmas this year. I want it to be way different than it was last year. I wanna be putting out content that I know I'll enjoy. So at the moment, we're going through a process before Christmas comes where we want to change a lot of the furniture that's in our house. And this is the main reason we haven't done a fully furnished house tour yet, is because we're not in love with everything we have at the moment. We want to upgrade everything. We want everything to look perfect before we do that fully furnished house tour. So we're going to be getting new furniture for the main living room, new furniture for the second living room. Like for example, we're going to be changing all of the dining chairs that we have. We're probably going to change the bar stools as well. We've already changed the sofas. I'm going to do a video on that either next week or the following week. Uh, I might mix it up. I might do like a house video, shopping video, house video, then something else. We're going to try to keep it varied so it doesn't get too repetitive. But a lot of changes that we're wanting to make. So first things first, in today's video, we're going to be changing up our spare bedroom. Now we had a bed in there, but the bed broke in the spare bedroom. We wanted them to send us out a new bed, but unfortunately the bed they no longer manufacture, I think, because a lot of people are having the problem with the bed breaking. So as we have Christmas quickly approaching, we're now deciding that it's probably best that we start getting that furniture in place. So we have some new artwork that we ordered in from Desieno, which I'll show you guys, and we've ordered a bunch of furniture for the spare bedroom, which we're gonna be showing you. One of the things that we've also changed is we've moved the skateboards. So we used to have uh, these skateboards here on that wall over there, but that wall is now completely plain. We're gonna do like an art collage on this wall, a bit similar to what we're planning on doing in the spare bedroom, which I'll show you guys now when we go in there. And then we got your boy, we're dripping today in the Essentials uh, all white tracksuit. Yeah, go on, give them, give them, give them, let me, let me sh show them the fit one time. So today we're wearing the all white Essentials Fear of God tracksuit. And I've got an off-white t-shirt. One thing that really confuses me about off-white t-shirts, now don't get me wrong, this t-shirt I only wear when I'm in the house. I don't really wear off-white out. How are you meant to cut these tags off? Or are you not meant to cut them off? Are they meant to just stay? Like it feels like you're not meant to cut this orange thing off. I tried to cut, I cut off all the white labels, but I tried to cut through these and shit just didn't pop off. Um, and then I got my Christian Sex Club socks on, which are ridiculously comfortable and warm. So good while it's cold in the house. And then we got the Porta Romana glasses that you guys seen us order when we done that like vintage glasses shopping. Had a couple of different ones turn up, maybe during Vlogmas, I'll do like a full review of all of my glasses collection, jewelry. I, I got a bunch of sick ideas, closet tour, loads of crazy ideas for Vlogmas when it comes. So this is the spare bedroom. What we have in here is a nice empty room. We cleared out any furniture that we had before because we want to completely change up the style. Actually, we've got the Desieno package here that we had arrive earlier today. So I'm going to show you the artwork. We also picked up this sideboard that we have here, which looks cool. Then we're obviously going to have the divan base. So we're going to have the divan base bed here, and then we'll put on the white company bed sheets that we picked up in the last video. But let's dive into this box. Now this box arrived the other day and me and Austin tried to on the slide. Look, you can see there's evidence. We opened the box. Yeah. We tried to, on the slide, get a quick look at what the artwork looked like because we've been really excited for it to arrive. However, it comes so well packaged that all the individual pieces of art are in kind of its own folder. So we thought, okay, we'll just open that on camera. Now, you guys will know we have like pop art around the house. Like we've got all the Simpsons art uh, downstairs. We've got the skateboards. But for the spare bedroom, and I think we're going to do the same thing in our bedroom as well, we want to change the artwork that we have. We're probably going to do the same thing in the second living room. We're going to get rid of the mirrors that we have on the wall and put artwork. We're probably going to get all of it from Desenio because big fans of the artwork that they do. I think it's perfect for living rooms, bedrooms, and stuff like that. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our art collage on the wall here and we've gone with colors that we felt match this room best. So let's dive into this unboxing. Let me show you guys what we picked up. We went with a variety of sizes on the frames because we're gonna do it like a collage as I said, but for the most part, we picked up 50 by 70 centimeter uh, frames and then got the artwork, but we're gonna be putting them in different angles. So some will kind of go, uh, and then others, yeah. will go, uh, others will go landscape and we're just going to try and fill out this wall as much as possible. Obviously the wall is slanted so we're going to try and uh, fit into the kind of middle area of the wall but it should look pretty good. So we have got our frames but this is what I was talking about. So as you can see the artwork itself actually comes kind of enclosed in this folder where it's all contained um, and as you can see the silt is a broken so we have not had a look at this but really excited to see what the artwork looked like. Another cool thing about Desieno is it's a real environmentally friendly company. So for every print that you order, they plant two new trees. So giving back to the world, which is great to know that the money you're spending and investing in this art is also going towards a good cause. Huge collection on their website of different artworks. Of course, we tried to pick out artwork that we felt matched the room best so we could filter it by uh, different colors and then have a look at the ones that we felt would fit this room. So we obviously went with beige tones, uh, whites, greens um, and hints of black as well uh, but we think it's really going to fit uh, the look of the room well so these will be what's going inside of the uh, picture frame when we put this artwork we're going to choose to go with double-sided tape on the back of the artwork instead of actually drilling into the walls which we find a lot better okay so this is all the artwork obviously we've got uh, this one here i don't want to go around i've creamed my hands recently so i don't want to go through everything individually but you can see the kind of tones that we've gone for which will match the wall and we'll make sure that the uh, different items that we put in the cubby holes down here all match the theme of the artwork but it should look really good when it's done i'm going to show you guys us putting them up and then we'll see what you think All right guys, so on the Decenio website, they have a feature that allows you to create a gallery of the artwork that you've actually ordered to see how it will look on your wall. So these are the different artworks that we've put in each of the frames. So we're gonna use this as a reference to know which piece of artwork should be going in which frame and how we're gonna position it on the wall. All right guys, so this is the first one done. As you can see, it's got all of the fittings that I needed on the back. If you did want to hang it, but instead we're going to just be running command strips along the frame and sticking them up with those instead of uh, actually using nails. All right guys, so I've been assigned the mission of going to get the sellotape because we need to sellotape in one of the things, where the hell is Stormy? Stormy, what are you doing? What are you doing? You saying hello to the vlog? Stormy, where's mommy? Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Hello. She's on my hunk. Where's mommy? Hmm? Where's mommy? She found her. Good girl. Good girl, Stormy, don't mess up the paintings. Yeah, Alright, Stormy, coming in. She's off to the races. Alright, let us show me. I've got a job to do. Sellotape found. Boss, Fine. cat? No, don't throw it. No, don't throw it. Alright, calm down. Alright, guys, so Austin is hard at work putting in these frames. I've done the first four. And four just. Four's not even done. Ah? Four's not even done. This is the fourth one. Alright, well, I've done all the others, and Austin is just chipping in doing this one. I'll then stop filming and I'll do the rest. 
Okay guys, so we've put all of the artwork in. Austin just needs to sellotape one of them to the white border so that it doesn't move when it gets hung up. But this is what one of them will look like on the wall. As you can see, we're gonna match color scheme with the cubby holes, with the wall. Should look really nice when it's all done. We then have a ivory, I believe it is, or maybe it's white, the van base coming tomorrow it was supposed to come today but unfortunately it's been postponed to tomorrow because they said one of the drivers was sick so if you're sick stay at home please so a new driver's coming tomorrow to deliver that so then we'll show you obviously what the whole room's starting to look like tomorrow but let's show you the artwork now i'm not going to bore you guys with showing you us put it all up i might do like a time lapse but i'll show you what the finished project looks like no oh wait let me do like a transition I'll show you what the finished project looks like. Oh. And there we have it. So we now have the six paintings up on the wall. Really happy with how it looks, to be honest. What do you think, Oz? Yeah, I think it looks good. So you can- Nice and homely. Really happy with how it looks. We're probably gonna get two smaller ones with similar color scheme to go into the corner. Depends. Depends. Because we might want like a lamp or a plant. Sure. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe we have a lampshade on there or maybe we have a plant standing there. We'll figure out something. You might be able to tell that this is quite wonky. It's because Nat did it, not me. So I have to rectify it later. Looks fine. All right, guys, so some good news for you lot. Austin reached out to Desenio and we were able to collaborate with them on this video. So they have hooked us up with a 30% discount code, meaning you get 30% off of all the artwork they have on their website. As I said, they have some phenomenal pieces and you can find color schemes that fit your room. When I originally was thinking about artwork for this room, thought we might struggle to find colors that match the feature wall that we have in here, but we managed to find these really easily. It only took us about 10, 15 minutes on the website to come up with this whole uh, gallery that we've put together so regardless of the color scheme that you have in your room check out their website i'm sure they've got some artwork that can levitate either your bedroom a spare bedroom living room whatever room it may be can elevate it and take it to the next level so next step that we have to wait for is for the bed to come so we can put on the new bed sheets that we picked up and then see what the room starts to look like as a whole Okay, so good news, the bed arrived all well. It came late last night, it was too late to film with the camera that we're currently using at night time. It goes all grainy, so I thought, okay, what we'll do is we'll wait to set up the bed and everything in the morning. So as you can see, it's just a divan base, which looks like it's really low to the floor, but you'll see once we put a mattress and stuff on top of it, it definitely comes a lot bigger. And it's just a like cream velvet, I don't know if you can tell the texture on camera. Now, our original thought process when we picked out this bed was that we were just going to have a mattress and bed sheets and a bunch of pillows and stuff on top, and we we're going to leave the wall blank. And now, probably going to end up going with a headboard, but we'll see what it looks like once we've got the mattress on, uh, the bed sheets on. We don't have all of the cushions and pillows or throws and stuff like that that we would have. We wanted to see what it looked like first, see what the artwork looked like, and then decided what color scheme we wanted to go with the throws and cushions to decorate the bed but we'll see what it looks like in a sec so i'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod whilst me and austin maybe austin sets up the bed you see the drip man we got on the fear of god essentials hoodie we got on a heron preston t-shirt underneath christian sex club shorts christian sex club socks we arch it huh i'm doing my fit oh she ain't got her makeup on so she don't want to be on camera today what you say All right, guys, and there we go. We have the bed set up. Most likely going to go ahead and order a headboard for the bed as well. So when all of that comes in one of the next house updates, then I'll show you guys what that stuff's looking like. But I think all in all, the room looks pretty clean with the Desenio artwork on the side, the sideboard with the LED light strip, as well as the bed. Obviously, you need to get some colors on the bed to bring that area to life. And bedside tables with lamps on the side. We've got a lot of ideas for this room. I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like when it's all done don't forget you guys can get 30 percent off of decenio artwork using the link that's down in the description and the code that's appearing on screen right now also for those of you who don't know i'm currently going through the process of closing all of my courses i've already closed two 
So I have two courses that are still open. Course that I'm closing at the moment, you only have five days left to get yourself on this course. It's my affiliate masters course, where I take you from A to Z in building your very own affiliate marketing business. And what makes things even better is you're gonna have my personal email address and me and you will be in contact directly helping you build this business to get you to a stage where you're at least making 100 pounds a day. Now to make sure that as many of you as possible can take advantage of this opportunity before it closes and is gone forever, we put together a system that allows you to be able to get full access to the course as well as all the perks of being a full member for zero pounds upfront for completely free. You don't have to spend a penny and then you can pay us back at a later stage when it suits you. To do this, all you have to do is at checkout, fill out your details, and when you go through to the payment page, you're gonna see an option for Klarna. Select that and it'll give you a bunch of options that you can take advantage of to either A, spread out the cost, or B, get access now for free and then pay us back later. That's the best I can do, try and make sure that as many of you can take advantage of this to hopefully change your lives before it is gone forever. All right, guys, so I just got finished getting ready. About to go grab something to eat. We're gonna go get a Sunday roast because it's a Sunday. I feel like it's been forever since I've had a Sunday roast. As we've been dieting, I'm trying to lose weight. I've been kind of eating a bit better. Like, don't get me wrong, I still get a Domino's every now and again. I still order a bunch of snacks from the food shop weekly. But I'm cutting down on how much takeaway I'm getting. But today, we thought we'd treat ourselves, go get a Sunday roast. And I cannot wait for the beef. I cannot wait for the roast potatoes. I cannot wait for the Yorkshire pudding, so it's gonna be amazing. But we're going to a new restaurant that we've never been to before, so fingers crossed it is a good Sunday roast. You can see we're dripping with the Porta Romana vintage frames that we picked up in that vintage frame video that we've done. I'll make sure there's a link in the description for where you guys can get the vintage frames from with 10% discount. I'm wearing my Dolce & Gabbana jumper, which I haven't worn in forever. And this is from the Dolce & Gabbana full winter collection of 2016, I wanna say, maybe 2015, can't remember it. No, 2016, I think, which is big drip. Do you know what inspired me to put this on? When I tried on that Dior hoodie the other day in Dior, when I put that on, it reminded me of when I put on this jumper. Like, I get that feeling very rarely when I put something on and I think, whoa. This is wavy. I'm wearing a Balenciaga uh, fur pouch. I don't know why whenever I go out, I feel like I need a pouch just to carry my belongings in. Sometimes I don't like wearing a pouch, you don't really go with the fit, but I just gotta carry the accessories. I hate putting stuff in my pockets, especially when I'm wearing the Amiri distressed jeans, cause these are tight as hell, and I got on my Gucci right on trainers. Low key, I'll be wearing the Gucci trainers every single day. Like when I'm just chilling, going out somewhere quick, where I ain't really trying to that impress too tough. I wear these trainers because they're the most comfortable trainers I own. Most of the trainers I have, I end up having to get a size smaller than the size I am because they don't carry my size in that trainer where it's all sold out. So I'll put myself through the pain if it's like a special occasion, I'm stepping out or something, then I might wear the tighter fitting trainers. But that's why most of the time in most of my pictures and stuff, you'll see me wearing these Gucci trainers because your boy's trying to stay comfortable, man. Guys, I realized why the Balenciaga mask didn't fit. My beard was so big before that it was packing out the mask. But now I trimmed out my beard a little bit. The mask fits just fine, man. Get me Hi right, guys, so basically um, Austin didn't feel like she had enough food so she asked if she wanted some extra potatoes and drop shit with it. All right guys, but that brings this vlog to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I said, I'm gonna be uploading every single week leading up to the 1st of December and then we're uploading every single day. My next YouTube video will be out next Saturday. I don't know exactly what date that is, but I have it appearing on screen right now. So make sure you guys set yourself a notification in your calendar, go right on your bedroom wall, remind yourself every single morning when you wake up then that is uploading another video next week, Saturday. Also, don't forget that my Affiliate Masters course is closing in just five days. So make sure you go and click the link in the description to get your hands on that before it is gone forever. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video.